Hi, this is a quick video to show off one new feature of Microsplat Core, which is the curve weights feature, or how to make a golf course. So if we were using standard, standard Unity Train, uh, this is the kind of blend we would see between these materials, right? Big blurry blend. Um, we have Microsplat on here, so if we turn up the interpolation contrast, we can see that we get a nice height map blend between them. Uh, this is great for organic surfaces, uh, where you want to really capture um, that interchange between the materials um, and you can control that, get a little bit blurry, however you like it. But it doesn't work so well for a golf course where somebody has come and manicured every grain of sand and every little bit of grass to be this nice, uh, beautiful little thing. So I have a new uh, setting. It's a per texture property called curve weights. Um, and essentially at 0.5, you're just going to get the normal. Uh, it basically won't do anything. If I, if I bring this down and I click all, so it applies it to all textures, uh, what this is doing is basically taking the uh, weights from the terrain and doing uh, interpolation on them so they're, they act more like curves between the points. Um, and then you get this nice crisp uh, setting. And you can adjust that. You don't have to have it be uh, so crisp. You can kind of find a value in here where you get a little bit of height blending or a little bit of blurriness, whatever you want. Uh, by playing with the interpolation contrast in this control. Um, so that's pretty cool because it just means that um, you can come in here and really get something that looks more like a golf course or a path or something that has a really defined uh, defined border edge. So it's per, a per texture property, which means that if you decide uh, you would like one of those to not obey this rule, you can stick it up to 0.5 and, uh, and that texture will uh, do its height map blending but the other one won't still um, and so if you turn them both up then you get the normal blending so if you wanted rocks in the distance uh, that you know you want to have some rocks and various other textures that are supposed to be more natural uh, you can turn that back uh, the other direction and essentially get the traditional uh, blending that you would want um, so that's very cool it's very easy it's very cheap as well which is great um, and I just want to point out one thing about painting is you really want to use a wide brush, a nice, soft, super wide brush, and I'll show you why. If I select my terrain here, and I say I want to put in a new sand trap over here, and I have the opacity slammed, um, you know, it doesn't look bad, but what you'll find is that you get these kind of really defined, um, I'll have to create a case for them, oh, these actually don't look so bad. Um, but you get a more defined um, kind of jaggedy edge on the diagonals uh, when you use a hard brush. Oh, I'm not, I'm not using a hard brush. I'm using a soft brush. So you get stuff like this. You see how those create uh, these little curves, but they're not the curves we really want. What we really want is for this to be a nice rounded thing coming over here. And the way to do that on whichever brush you're painting is to turn the opacity way down and use a very soft brush and just hit it with the edge. And I have the opacity at zero, so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so you can see what happens. Um, but you'll see as the opacity gets softer, so does the curve, and we don't get that zigzag along the diagonals, we actually get a nice um, kind of rounded curve like we would want here, right? Um, so that's kind of the secret to getting these to look the best that they can. And it takes a little fiddling with um, to kind of get used to creating the edge nice and smooth like that. Um, and you can kind of go back and forth, making sure that, that you get a nice blurry blend there. I'm using a very, very low splat map resolution on this map. Uh, that just kind of makes it easier. Um, if you look, my splat map resolution on this map would normally be 512. It's 128. And that's just so that I could show off these edges. You could still use a high-res splat map. Um, but again, like painting these soft edges will give you the best curve um, between your textures. So hopefully that's useful. Certainly useful if you're making a golf, golf game or trying to put, you know, a hard edge road in or something like that. You could probably actually do pretty good roads with Microsplat now. Um, obviously not ones that require orientating the texture, um, but you could do, you know, gravel roads and things where you have a really kind of defined edge where the gravel ends. Um, so yeah, uh, or asphalt. Um, so hope you like it, and uh, that's it. Thanks.